assuming you have came so far and followed every step and you've gotten it exactly as how I've instructed all the way to this step, then you are just one or two steps away from connecting to the server. I hope it's still exciting for your experience here. And if you make any mistake, just stop it, go all the way back and you can redo. And remember, if you have created something that you are not sure, you can always delete it, terminate it, and then start the whole process over again. At this point, if you have reached here and created that connection, do not start the connection yet. First, I would like you to go to services. And then next thing is to select the instances. That means you go to EC2 that you will now see this EC2 dashboard. You notice that if you have created EMR correctly, you will definitely see three instances and also three running instances. You should also have one key pair, which is normal, and also three security groups. What is important here is, I would like you to click on instances running and then you will see there are three different instances ID here. This is where you know you are actually having the correct one. And you may also want to look at the details. So you might want to click here to move the list from the left to the right, where you can see all the details, also including the IP addresses and also the security names that you see here. What I want you to do is actually to modify the security policy for Elastic Map Master. So how do you do that? Move this back to the left so that you are back to this part and I want you to click on the first instance ID. So click on this first instance ID so that you now reach the summary of your master node. In the next few steps, please follow closely. Many of these things you don't have to do anything. I would like you to select on security and by clicking on the word security, you will reach this part where you can see the security policies. And the next step, I would like you to come here and click on this security group repeat I want you to click on the security group link here so that you come to the elastic map reduce master and its security setting in a nutshell these are all the rules of the firewall that allows or disallow certain kind of communication and being secured by default, it doesn't even allow SSH connection, which is required for you to connect to the master node using PuTTY or SSH. Therefore, in order to allow you to do that, I want you to click on Edit Inbound Rules. Okay, click on Edit Inbound Rules. And from there, you will see this list. It may look scary, or you may not really know what you are doing, but more importantly, you don't have to do anything at this part. Scroll down so that you can see the end of the list. Okay. What you need to do now is click on add rules so that you get an additional line being created here. Now, next step, you should select here and you see an option of different different types of protocol and I would like you to select SSH. With that, you will get the options all configured for you for the SSH which is TCP using port 22. Here, I would like you to select anywhere so that you get this information. And finally, you can also put some remark if you want. I 
usually will write something that is meaningful so that I know what I've done and what it is for. In this case, for the curious one, you actually allow connection via port 22 or SSH over the IPv4 network and also IPv6 network. If you are pretty sure and you do not need IPv6, you can also click on the X here so that this can be removed. But we just keep it there. At this point, click Save Rules so that this entry will be updated. And now you can see this part is almost the same but you have slightly more rules here. And also you can see SSH is now being added. And since we have included both IPv4 and IPv6, you see both of them exist here. Next, I'm going to show you a short video how you can connect via SSH. See you in the next video.